Hi friends, this is Gani. Today I'm going to explain you how to create this type of handrails. This type of handrails. Before going to create this type of handrails, if you don't know how to create how to create these columns and beams and connections, base plate and this type of connections and how to create this staircase and this type of connections, please go to my channel youtube.com slash gunny sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here and you can find out so many technical related videos here how to create staircase or columns or beams or connections and everything here please come here and watch and please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when i upload a new videos every day i'm going to upload a new video on tecla structures please Please click on subscribe, you'll subscribe, you'll get notification or updates. Okay, let's start. Okay, before uh, going to create this uh, handrails, I'm going to delete this thing and once again I will create for you. I'm going to delete this handrails and once again I'm going to create. Okay. Okay, before going to create handrails, go to the application components, come here and select this S76 component, application component, click on it and close it. Uh, once again, if you don't know how to open these things, okay, initially you will see like this, I am using, currently I am using uh, US Imperial environment, go to the steel detail. In steel detail, go to the miscellaneous detail here in the stair. Or go to the handrail, handrail in the handrail. Yeah, select this option S76 component, click on it and close it. And your selection must be in this option select object in component, activate this icon and select the middle of this stranger and here select the second point at middle of the stringer and then select the object this is the first stringer and then select this stringer second one and click on mouse middle button then vertical pipes will be generated like this you can control the size from here select this option select components and then double click on it Here in this option, here 6 inches indicates the distance from starting point to first pipe here indicates. You can control from this option, you can uh, change this value as you require. This 6 inch indicates the uh, add end point to this pipe distance. You can control from here and this 4 feet 6 inch indicates the maximum space between the two pipes for example i am going to take 3 feet instead of 4 feet 6 inches and click on modify here you can see now the maximum space between the two pipes should be 3 feet 0 inch this is approximate here indicates the maximum means approximate depth uh, distance between two pipes for example you, you need exact uh, you can select this option otherwise you leave it as it is depends upon your requirement after that uh, you can control this length of the pipe from here how much you require you can control the length of the pipe here indicates the four feet is the length of the pipe this pipe okay go to the pass tab here uh, this uh, this pipe size and profile you can control from here browse from here these are the standard pipes according to your environment uh, standard pipe names might be changes but uh, the standards remaining same for example if you want to use this custom pipe you can use the from here pd or tube and you can control and edit from here for example i'm going to take standard pipe uh, pipe 2 std uh, i'm using us imperial that's why i'm getting here the standard pipes like us imperial standards if you are using other standards you will get according to your standard environment and taking this pipe to std pipe to std apply ok you can copy this 
and here you can paste it directly otherwise you can browse from here also okay click on modify you can see you know, click on this pipe and then click on modify now this this pipe should be pipe to std okay then close it that's right after placing this uh, stripe pipes then go to the application components once again by using the shortcut control f or you can use browse from here also application components okay come here and select this railing s77 option click on it and close it and your selection must be in select object in component select it and then select one by one one pipe and this pipe and this pipe by using the mouse once you come you selected all pipes then click on mouse middle button or scroll button you will generate it like this okay right click on mouse and interrupt or redraw view once again here these are the handrails okay now we will see how to control these pipe sizes and everything we we'll select this option and then double click on this okay you can see here this one fifth one feet indicates the pipe from pipe to this pipe distance here you can see this first pipe to this pipe distance like that you can control uh, the here also this pipe to this distance from here for example i'm going to take for 10 feet 10 inches here 10 inches you can see the changes here once I, once i click on modify you can see the changes from here okay now it should be 10 inches from this pipe to this pipe distance like that you can control this uh, this band to edge of the distance from here as per your requirement you can control anything from these options okay i'm going to to the next options go to the parameters okay in these parameters i'm going to first trials and here you can control this rail profiles from here for example top rail means this is the top rail oh, i'm going to take the top rail is 2 std 5 to std apply okay and bottom rails also same copy and paste it and closures this start closure and end closure indicates this these things these are the start closure and this is the end closure of the pipe and I'm going to use the same standard pipe for all this top and bottom and start and end closer and click on modify you can see the changes from here you can see the change here I'm going to click on modify yeah it's changed it should be now pipe to STD okay you can control this uh, inside two pipes uh, from this option middle rise come here uh, you can control from here come here and go to the circular halo sections and pipes and standard here for example I'm going to use this uh, pipe 1 1 by 2 1 and half std apply ok I copy it yeah, paste all things from here and click on modify click on modify here you can, you can see the changes here now it, this is the 2 std pipe this is 1.5 std pipe you can see the change of the pipe profile now you can control the number of pipes inside pipes from here this option for example i'm going to uh, remove it here for example i'm going to use three equal spacing between two pipes and click on modify here you can see now three pipes will be generated yeah yes this like this okay 
according to your requirement you can uh, use any number of pipes i am going to take two pipes here okay uh, for example uh, for this cutting pipes cutting oh, i am using control 2 shift to 2 for a visible here you can see this pipes until from here and is inside of this pipe you want to cut this pipe trim this pipe by using this option go to parameters come here mm, by using this option mm, i'm going to use this option and then go to the upside click on it once click on this pipe and modify it you can see now you can see the result here Mm, yeah use this this option click on it and modify now we drive you once here you can see you can trim like this option by using that option come here yeah you can see like this you can control by using this option use this option for this type of cut every junction of this pipe okay. after that what about this connection come here and select this option for this trim cut click on modify here you can see the changes from here click on it once and click on modify yeah this one we review you can see yeah, it, it's getting the vertical pipe hole don't use this option and yeah, use this option and click on modify select it and click on modify yeah this is right this is the file here the vertical pipe is entire one single pipe and the here this pipe circle trim by using this option use this option for this cut type of cut like that then click on it and use control 4 for shift 4 for solid view here you can see you can use this type of correction by using this once completed then click on apply ok and double click on this hand rush vertical hand rush and then click on apply ok once completed you can use the same thing from here also the procedure will be similar go to the application components and select this s76 component and select the middle of first and second point like this and then select uh, use this option and select the stranger first stranger and second stranger and click on mouse middle button or scrolling button here you can see like this once completed uh, go to the application components once again use this trialing option and select the all the single pipe and then click mouse middle button or scrolling button here you can see these are the handrails for strike case uh, similar like that you can also create here also i am going to create now go to the application components uh, take s76 and pick the first point of this end of the b and second point here take here and select after that select b and mouse wheel button here you can see these are the pipes you can control select this component option and then double click on it you, you can control maximum spacing from here it depends upon the spacing between the two pipes the number of pipes will be varied okay for example i am going to take four feet at this location and click on modify here you can see now distance between maximum distance between two pipes should be four feet click on okay okay double click on it once i am going to change the 
start start point to first pipe distance from here i'm going to use 10 inches click on one similar like that here end point to first pipe distance 10 inch click on modify now it should be 10 inch apply ok ok go to the select this s76 once again and take this first point of this end of the beam and second point of the end of the beam and select the beam and click move here button similar like that come here select the end point of the beam this end point of the beam and select the beam mouse middle button here select this here come here and select any at any location from here and then select the beam mouse middle button yeah these are the vertical pipes once created this vertical pipe go to the application components once again by using the shortcut control f or you can browse from here application components and select the railing s77 close it select one by one now your selection must be here in select object in component activate this icon and then use one by one select this pipes in the one row and mouse click on mouse middle button here we go you can see now these are the Androids. similar like that now click on it these pipes mouse middle button okay similar like that rotate it and select these pipes mouse middle button come here select these pipes mouse middle button they drive it house Yeah, here there is no gap so you can change this distance and select this option select components and double click on it here you need to change this distance here 10 inch i'm going to change to 8 inches and click on modify yeah there is gap between these two pipes this is fine it's fine you can create like this anywhere you can create these handrails from anywhere you can choose any uh, any type of options from here also for example double call it if you don't want to use this type of profile come here and select this option without this option and click on modify Here you can see you can use this type of this type of option also based upon your requirement you can choose from here these options and click on modify okay click on okay these are the handrail how to create this handrails tutorial in this video if you like this video please like it and please share it for more Tekla related videos, go to my channel youtube.com slash sk. Please click on subscribe. If you subscribe, you will get notifications or updates when I upload new videos. Thank you.